what do you think happens when you press the mute button uh, on a Zoom call? I mean, it, it's supposed to mute. <laughs> Yeah, well, what I would do you, hope so. What do you think that mute means in that context? Uh, probably just disables like some piece of software that like stops your mic from picking up audio. Well, you would it's be, not like an actual hardware disconnect. So you would I mean, be among the seventy-seven percent of people that feel that way. They they think that when they press the mute button, it actually mutes their microphone. But not in the way I would like it to. I wish there was like a way to hardware disconnect it, but I know that it's just like software behind the scenes doing that. I'm still like dubious about it. Nope. That's not how it works. What? So uh, most people assume that that is how it works, that there is some sort of, I mean, Alex is saying like a hardware disconnect, that seems a, a little excessive to me, um, like like physically disconnecting the microphone from I power. Uh, sure, uh, but most people just assume that it software disconnects the microphone uh, and that no further audio is transmitted. I know that's it, what I'm saying, but I would like for there to be that option because yes, I don't trust I, computers. Yeah, I know, I know. Um, but most people, you know, don't want switches on their computer specifically to turn on and off the microphone. I've had a computer that did that, um, and I found myself more annoyed by it than anything else. Um, <clears throat> but again, most people would assume that when you press the mute button. Uh, it no longer transmits any audio to the server, but that is not actually the case. Instead, a lot of these popular services, which of the ones that were tested, they tested Zoom, Slack, MS Teams, Google Meet, Cisco WebEx, Blue, Blue Jeans, mm. okay, nice. whereby GoToMeeting, Jitsi Meet, which I have used, Jitsi's great, and Discord. Um, so they wanted to see what exactly happened uh, by tracing the raw audio and seeing where it was going. Um, whether it was going to the network, how much of it was going to the network, and if anything changed when a user hit the mute button. So um, it turns out, uh, in the worst case, which was Cisco WebEx, nothing changed. It, com it completely continued to send audio the entire time the exact same way um, when the user pressed mute. It continued to send audio to the server, and the server was processing the audio as well. Um, also, <laughs> Zoom. Um, was found to actively track whether or not the user was talking even when they were in mute mode. So right. when you were on mute, you would still be transmitting audio to the server and they would actively be processing that audio. So if you, you know, start talking a bunch of trash about your boss, that audio is going to the server and the server is actually, you know, going to be processing <laughs> that audio and you don't really know where that audio ends up. So the assumption that, again, 77% of us make, 77.5, um, that when we hit mute, it is no longer transmitting audio is actually completely false. Um, most of these do, in fact, continue to transmit audio. And again, that audio potentially could be intercepted in transit, or it could be processed by the company in some way you don't expect. Maybe your company runs its own Zoom server, and they're just like, yeah, when they hit, when they hit mute, just keep recording. You, you frankly just don't know whether or not that sort of capability could be built into it. So uh, it's very, for me anyway, disturbing to know that, yeah, sometimes when we rely on an application to use a software method of disconnecting our audio, it's actually not doing that. And just because we see an icon on the screen and other people in the chat might not be able to hear us doesn't mean that it's not being recorded by the server that we are connected to. So just a little note for you when you're using audio conferencing software, never assume that the microphone is actually cut unless, as Alex was saying, you happen to have a computer that has a physical microphone cutoff switch or you're physically plugging a microphone in that you can unplug. While most people would find that to be kind of a burden, it's kind of disingenuous applications like this that make me think that maybe that should be a feature for people who want to make sure they don't get caught saying something that they don't want to be caught saying during a Zoom call. <laughs> Not that anybody would ever do that, but if you ever you know, did have something weird happening in the back of your Zoom call, you mute to go deal with it, you should be aware that everything that happened while you were muted thinking nobody else was seeing was actually being recorded. And that, that could be a bad thing if you don't want that to happen. <clears throat> hmm. I think, um, I don't know if that's true, but that's probably isolated to the application. I wonder if like you hit the mute button on like your laptop, that probably wouldn't do the same thing. I think that would like actually disconnect it from the application itself. Well, it depends. So um, if you, and it goes into all sorts of things like the operating system and whatnot. Yeah. So, if for, so a lot of the time, um, Anything that was using a web browser mm. was actually able to be successfully muted because it was doing a software mute from the browser. Uh, um, so yeah. it was mostly the actual apps that were really the problematic things here. When you're using the web browser, it actually did seem to more or less work the way it was intended. Um, so that is one plus here. But uh, yeah, it really depends. Because if you just mute, like if you 
I don't even I don't know what button on my Mac OS computer mutes the <laughs> microphone. Do you know which which button on? The... I know I have like a physical button on here that does the muting that I can press, but like yours is obfuscated behind like that... a software little touch bar. That... Wait, that was the. Um, that's... Oh wait, that's for volume. I'm that's done. for volume. Okay, no, this one's this one's the microphone. Okay, okay, so yeah, you, know. you do have a, a button that um, yeah. increases and decreases the volume on the internal microphone. I'm not sure if um, the application's connection to the microphone is dependent on the level that you set. Um, or or it does that itself. It really kind of depends on the way that the particular operating system you're using handles that. Linux, I think, is probably much more likely to be able to interrupt that because it gives you more control, whereas yeah. Mac OS or Windows may not let you do that at all or may give the application the ability to set its own connection to like the audio sync and like set its own audio levels. So like I just, unless you physically disconnect it, I would just not trust that the microphone is completely off during one of these calls. Kind of creepy, right? Because like, yeah. again, 77% of people really didn't think this was the way it worked, and nobody bothered to tell them that it wasn't. So uh, sorry, everyone. Sorry, 77% of people that uh, that already th thought that wasn't <laughs> the case. And sorry to the rest of everybody who already knew this, I that guess. That sucks. Yeah.